Hey everyone, in this video, I'm gonna share you all a roadmap for NLP from beginner to expert. Even if you don't know anything related to AI and still if you want to pursue NLP as a career, this video is for you or if you are a person who knows some things about AI and you wanna know about Gen AI, this video is for you. This video will cover from beginner to expert. Everything is covered and the most important thing is I've included free resources for you all to refer let's see about the prerequisites one should complete before going into nlp so as far as the prerequisites is concerned one should be very good with python and in python there are a lot of things to cover where you need to be good with core python and you need to be very good with oops concept where it will have class inheritance everything should be covered while you're going into oops and once you have done with that you need to have very good proficiency with numpy pandas matplotlib libraries and then you also should have a decent knowledge with flask or django because you need to do some deployment or serve your apis and for that you need to know about flask Followed by that, the next step is to have very good understanding of linear algebra, probability and calculus because machine learning and deep learning, whatever we are seeing in AI, everything is based off these three, linear algebra, probability and calculus. Let's say you have completed the core math and you have a great understanding of linear algebra, probability and calculus. The next step for you would be to know the statistics because Statistics is very useful when you want to do some data pre-processing and choose your models based on that. It will help you in making some decisions. And then if you are done with statistics also, then you will move on to machine learning where you will cover everything about machine learning, be it data pre-processing, feature engineering, feature selection, and creating machine learning algorithms, doing some hyperparameter tuning and so on and so forth. You should do some sample projects for you to have some confidence in you. And once you have very good confidence that, okay, I'm very good with machine learning, then you can move on to deep learning. Where in deep learning, you need to know till um, probably RNN, which I'll consider to be basics of deep learning. And once you are done with that, you can move on to advanced NLP, which is being used right now. Now we are done with the basics. The next steps for you to advance yourself or your expertise in NLP will help you to solve wide range of tasks which is there in the world right now. You are done with all of those which I said before. And if you complete Transformers paper, right? You need to know the working of Transformers, how you should implement that from scratch so that you will have a better understanding. If you complete till that, you, you are completed almost 30 to 35% of your uh, learning towards NLP expertise. Then, then, okay, like you are done with transformers. Then there are three main architectures which came and all of those architectures, LLMs and so on and so forth, which we are saying came from these three architectures, which is BERT, GPT and T5. Okay. These three also came from transformers, but these three have their own specialities, BERT, GPT and T5. So you should gain some knowledge with BERT, GPT and T5. And you should be very good with the Hugging Face ecosystem because after this 50%, everything will involve Hugging Face. This is where the revolution started, where ChatGPT was released in 30 November 2022. After that, after some time, it became public. So you need to know how ChatGPT is working. There is a algorithm known as RLHF being used in ChatGPT and there is a paper for that. And then Llama 2 was released and then Mistral was released and there were other lots of papers which released. Okay, there is LoRa, DPO, Llama 2, Mistral. These are some four main papers which is being used in daily life of a lot of Gen AI users and that's why I specified here but there are a lot of other uh, techniques paper also being released all right so you need to be proficient with all of those so that you will be able to handle like 85 percent of your use case can be solved right now now 
you can't always train your model again and again so for that you should first have an understanding of how you can solve real-time NLP use cases with the knowledge you have right now and then use techniques like RAG for you to do real-time use cases without retraining the model again and again. Now then you are completed 95% then but still there is always research going on in Gen AI which means there is always LLM hacks coming into the picture. I'm just generalizing it as LLM, LLM hacks. For example there is a method called model merging in our channel itself, I would have made a video of, I would have merged um, a model which has English knowledge, which is Hindi written in English and another model which has psychiatry knowledge. I would have merged both of those and now that model had a capability of conversing for mental health or conversing as a psychiatrist doctor in English. Okay. Now, I didn't have a psychiatry English data, but still I achieved it because I knew a LLM hack, which will be helpful for that use case. So you should keep on updating yourself with the LLM hacks. If you are done with that, you are done with 99%. There is nothing called 100% in Gen AI because always there is something which is going to come. But with this knowledge itself, you will be able to solve 99% of your NLP use case. Things you need to remember. You need to consistently update yourself with the research going on. You need to implement the SOTA concepts, state of that concepts for your use case. If there is a state of that concept being released and people are saying that it is working very well, let's say Gemma is being released. Okay. And people are saying oh, Gemma is very good and it is awesome. It is working very well. Then try to use Gemma in your use case in some way. Or if you are a beginner, like you are a college student and you don't have a use case of yourself. Just take some chatbot as a use case of yours. Try to implement Gemma for that. And then finally do some end-to-end -end projects. Necessarily not with deployment because a uh, lot of people can't afford uh, cloud for deployment, but at least a local deployment, okay? So if you are done with all of these, if you are a person who is searching for a job, like you are a college student, still you will be able to get your job very easily if you cover all of these steps and if you're a person who is in your job and you want to go to the next level with NLP these steps will help you now let me show you the resources for all of these the first step for you to start with is python and complete this python playlist don't worry i'll provide all of these links in a separate file it will be uploaded in my github repo let's say you are completed with this beginner tutorial okay next you need to know oops okay where you need to know about how to create a class how to create class variables how to do how to use class methods how to do inheritance if you are done with this then you need to know about web scraping and this is from another guy nonaskit gali you need to first extract your data if you don't have any data you need to scrape the data and then only you can train your models right so this is it makes sense that this is your first tip once you are completed with web scraping, then there are three major libraries, like I said, for you to cover. First is NumPy, then there is Pandas, and then there is Matplotlib or Seaborn based on your choice. For all of these three, again, Keith Gali itself has made amazing tutorials. Each will be around one hour. Once you are completed with that, again, you have Cory Schaefer himself for Flask. Because if you know Flask, right, you can create any big application, serve anything you want so first have a very good hang of flask by seeing his tutorials you are done with python in prerequisites i said python python right that python is now completed next i said linear algebra calculus and probability right so for these there is another person known as three blue one brown he is very good he would have explained math in such a very good way so linear algebra and calculus go for him and for probability you won't need a lot i hope you all know basics of probability and how distributions are if that you know then it is enough or else you can search for some videos alone if you didn't know the concept at the later half okay but the main thing is uh, calculus and linear algebra which is covered here you know linear algebra probability calculus python then there is statistics so hereafter you'll use a lot of videos from a person known as Krishnayak 
and he is also an another amazing person from whom i learned a lot he has an amazing play, uh, video on statistics this is around 6 hours and you will know almost anything you need to know about statistics as a prerequisite to machine learning in this video itself i have a boot camp known as ml boot camp where uh, i took it for 7 days i would have covered feature engineering feature selection feature transformation everything there is to be covered why do we need plotting and all you have uh, learned you would have learned about matplotlib by then but why you need to know matplotlib that would be covered in this video so all are covered in these videos so you can go through these at seventh video itself i would have said i wouldn't have covered a lot about machine learning algorithms working that you can see in this video which is around seven hours you would have covered almost every algorithm you need to know about in machine learning try to do some machine learning projects okay if you search for machine learning projects in youtube there will be a lot of projects try to have an understanding of those project and try to build your own project and that's why i'm not giving you any reference here so now you are completed with machine learning then you need to have a very good understanding of deep learning so for this he would have covered about activation optimizers and everything once that is done have these two in your pipeline okay first go through this video from patrick lober i learned pytorch by using his videos he would have covered everything in pytorch if you want to stay updated with nlp research it is better to use pytorch because tensorflow implementations are always late and tensorflow is slightly harder to use and more rigid so first have an understanding of pytorch and then move on to another person who i look up to a lot because his name is aladdin person these two alone cover from this person known as aladdin person known as rnn and bidirectional lstm by this you will have an understanding of lstm networks and if you are interested you can also um, see about VGG, Linet, Google Linet, ResNet, Efficientnet, everything he would have implemented from scratch along with PyTorch image captioning and all and some other videos. So if you are interested on that you can go through those but those two are enough. Once you are completed with LSTM right you need to know about se sequence to sequence, how sequence to sequence model works, how attention is included in that. If you are done with that your prerequisite is completed. You can move on to a playlist which I have in our channel which is NLP advanced roadmap first you need to know about transformers from scratch so that is covered in here okay I can assure you this is one of the best playlists you will find for transformers from scratch these two videos in all of YouTube okay I have covered the math the implementation everything from scratch that to beginner friendly okay so once that is done you need to know about how to use BERT for your use cases for which you can use text classification and token classification as your use case. Then GPT, uh, it's not needed right now because we are going to use LLMs, right? That will give you GPT's knowledge. Next, you need to know about T5 for which I have used a variant known as plan T5 to solve almost any task you will face. So once that is done, try to make a project for creating your own chatbot. I would have created my own chatbot with the help of Plantify in Google Colab itself. Bird GPT T5 and then for hugging face. If you are interested, you can go through this course or an 18 hour course on transformers. And you can refer this also if you want completed 50%. Next, it is to know about ChatGPT and it's working. If you want a video on ChatGPT and it's working, let me know in the comment section. I'll make a video on that. But I would have probably touched it light in the DPO video. Next about LLM, LoRa, Fine Tuning Llama 2, Code Llama, DPO, DPO, Mistral Architecture from scratch, Mistral, how to implement DPO and Mistral, then Mistral came into the picture, so how to use, how to create Mistral of your own, so if you are done with these, you need to evaluate your LLM, so a theory and then how you can evaluate with the help of Mistral itself and then Let's say you are bored with writing scripts again and again. How you can write one script for fine tuning any LLM for use case. Uh, almost every use case can be covered but information extraction can't be done with that. For that there is an another video. You need to know how to implement the bot here right. I have given bot. So for that you have a custom rag implementation with the help of Mistral 7b. I would have implemented that. 
and there is a big project which is building an AI research agent. This is a research agent where it can help you with answering real time queries. I have an idea of Gemma also because Gemma came into the picture recently. That quotes our point. Consistently update with yourself in the research, implementing SOTA concepts for use case, building end to end projects. All are being covered in the NLP roadmap playlist. Here you can see there is LLM hacks. These two are LLM hacks, and I have made a lot of LLM hacks, and there are a lot of videos on LLM hacks to come. This is how you can follow our channel. If you cover these 25 videos, you will become an expert in modern NLP. Almost an expert, I wouldn't say an expert, almost an expert. After that, what you need to do is this is something not a lot of people say to you. Go to Twitter and follow a lot of people. Okay. So I keep myself updated with the consistent research going on with the help of Twitter only. I will give my Twitter link uh, or Twitter my, my Twitter account link in the description. So what you need to do is go to my profile and in my profile I would have followed a lot of people right just click follow for them and you will be getting all of the current updates which is going on okay that's how you can consistently up update yourself with the research so yeah guys if you are uh, good with all of these you can solve any use case of your choice by yourself i'll see you all in another video until then cheers